In this video, we will go over the whitelisting component within Acronis Cyber Protect. Companies usually have specific applications that can be recognized and detected as false positives by an antivirus solution. It is also time consuming to add manually trusted applications to a whitelist. Acronis Cyber Protect can automate the process of adding applications to a whitelist. Backups are scanned and the scanned data is analyzed to whitelist these applications and to help prevent false positive detections. Adding trusted applications to a whitelist on a company-wide level enables you to increase further scanning performance. The whitelist is composed for each customer based only on their data. Now for automatic adding to a whitelist, there are a few things you need to be aware of. You will need to have at least two machines with agents installed on them. A full backup is needed from those machines, and the data will need to be stored in our cloud storage. Then you will need to have a backup scanning plan in place for those two machines, that is to scan your backups from malware, and the scan needs to be completed. Please note that our goal in the future is to provide the ability to add files to the corporate whitelist without the need for creating a backup scan plan, and that is on the roadmap. After enabling the automatic generation of whitelist has started, you will need seven days for the algorithm to whitewash the binaries across the endpoints in a single tenant. If all of these conditions are met, then the files will be added. After this, you can add files manually by pointing to the machine and the direct path to the PE file, which means the executable binaries. So let's see how this is done. So we're going to go to anti-malware protection and then whitelist. In the upper right, you will see settings. Then you can click on the toggle button for automatic generation of whitelist, and then you can set the level of heuristic protection to high for the initial automatic generation. For reference, the default rule levels that you see here to define the aggressiveness of the heuristic scanning is as followed. So low would be that corporate applications get added to the whitelist after a significant amount of time and the checks are done. These applications become more trusted. However, this approach increases the possibility of false positive detections. The criteria to consider a file as clear and trusted is high. Default, corporate applications will be added to the whitelist according to the recommended protection level to reduce possible false positive detections. The criteria to consider a file as clear and trusted are medium. And then high, Corporate applications are added to the whitelist faster to reduce possible false positive detections. However, this does not guarantee that software is clean and it might be later recognized as suspicious malware. The criteria to consider file as clear and trusted is low. So once you have had all the requirements done and then this list is generated, which you can see on my screen, you can then go to add files in the system. In the upper right, you will see add file. You can select the machine and then provide the path to the PE executable binary file. If you wanted to validate a trusted file, there is the ability to send the information over to VirusTotal to check on it. In the ellipse to the right, you can click on this and then select Check on VirusTotal. This will pop up another tab and you will see how other vendors, including Acronis, show the file. VirusTotal inspects items from over 70 different antivirus scanners and URL domain blacklisting services, as well as other tools. The goal is to have VirusTotal be useful in detecting potential malicious content and also identifying false positives. With these results, VirusTotal tells you whether some antivirus solution detected a submitted file as malicious and also displays each engine's detection label. Thanks for watching.